Good morning, beautiful people. So let's start now to delve into the core of my research. I've chosen four books as a first to, to lay down the first foundational understanding for my literature review, but also for me in general. The first one for my prior one book is to make sure that in the latest edition, the 28th edition of the Verhe Microeconomics of Business Foundations, how they are going, I mean, how do they view sustainability? Simply because if we are we continue to teach to students that it is all about profit maximization, then there's something wrong here. And I will go into that in another video, because I think it's not only about maximization. You can look at it in a different way, which is way more creative for strategic choices within or for a company. And you can look at it in a different way than simply nailing it down to growth and profit. The second other book or my prior one book, no, prior two, but I've started reading this one. Um, it's also from another professor, Michael von Hauf, about circular economy. And it is, for me, Living in Germany, it is really important because the Kreislaufwirtschaft or the circular economy based on the German law has a way more narrow regulative, legislative approach than, for instance, the cradle to cradle or the circular economy a la Alan MacArthur, which is more about a concept but which is not baked yet in legislation. So this is for me a must read. Then the prior four, and we've come to the prior one, is about mastering the circular economy. And this one is for me really important too, because once I've read the German book, it is to go about how companies can approach circular economy from a leadership perspective, from a corporate imperative. So it is really about how do we put circularity at the core of a corporate or corporation. And my really important priority is Factor 5. And this is an old book. It was a Factor 4 and then the Factor 5, um, which is a report to the Club of Rome from 2009. And this is about a whole system approach to ecological imperatives and how to align them or balance them with economic aspiration. Because this book is going to open up another avenue, which I'm not talking here today about, which is, a, which is my passion um, and where I bring my background into play, is how do you transform companies? How do you save companies and bring them on another path? Not simply looking at profit maximization because this can be a real serious dead end. So it is about opening creativity about at the normative strategic level. Always remember, I'm working really and I'm focusing only at the normative strategic level because I think that there are people who are way better than I to see, okay, these have been the ideas at the normative strategic level. Now let's have a look at at the strategic operational level. What is feasible? What is compliant uh, from an ESG perspective? How should we frame the SDGs? Um, does it make sense? Do we have to have a, um, a change plan, a transformation plan? How does it look like? That is for me a way or a totally different discussion on how to put it alive. But first, there must be an intention. First, there must be a vision. First, there must be a will in exploring new avenues, new business avenues. So I want to thank you. And well, let me dive in it. And I'm going to report about these four books next week because they are really, yeah, I'm going to share with you my findings where I feel that there is some more to do. Um, and so that I can start now, if you want, kind of a mind map together with you and to see where in which direction is it going to lead me. Have a wonderful day. Thank you.